computer science is going to be you know, defined as the, the application of uh, computation. They're able to calculate all sorts of things in the world. And so computer science is the science that actually studies you know, what those computations are. It's not, not just about C++ programming, but also the fundamentals behind you know, what the programming involves, such as algorithms and data structures, which is really what ultimately all computing is about. And then once that is all out of the way, then they're ready for other you know, more you know, specialized topics, such as networking, artificial intelligence, databases, computer graphics. So these are the actual practical application areas that all the you know, co companies in the world do. I'm studying computer science because I think it gives is an interesting approach to um, age-old problems. Being able to do thousands or millions of operations a second um, really allows us to explore different mathematical questions. Our CS department is you know, fairly old, meaning it's got a long established history and uh, we have lots of superstars on our faculty, such as you know, the one person who was part of the RSA cryptography, you know, which is a secure key cryptography that people use and then also one of the you know, pioneers on the internet. So we got like, people like that, and people, one faculty that won the Gödel Prize, that's the ultimate Nobel Prize for computer science. He actually won it twice. I really like how the class sizes at USC are smaller. Um, it allows you to have one-on-one -on -one time with the professor, pretty much during class and during lecture, you can ask any questions that you want. So you never really leave a lecture confused. So one of the things that uh, students can do is approach practically you know, any faculty that does research in their you know, area of interest. So it's a one-on-one -on -one research. And the student and the faculty come up with a topic together that the student can investigate and then have regular meetings you know, to make sure things are going well. And then finally meet the goal that the student wants. So this could be a new research area, a small thing that the student can tackle, or even a new implementation of something that's already been done before. When students first come into computer science, the first year is a pretty you know, grueling schedule because we start off students on this one course called CS103, which is a, you know, like a hardcore introduction to C++ programming. And C++ has the reputation of being like a hard, you know, big language, in a way like a, a well-deserved reputation. But then we teach that to students because then once they master C++, they're practically ready to, you know, tackle anything that's thrown at them. Last summer, I was an intern at Facebook, and I was part of their program called Facebook University for Engineering. Um, it's a program just for freshmen, and they train you for the first three weeks, and then the last five weeks, you work on a iOS app or Android app with your team. So with Project Athena, we are the organizers for Athena Hacks, which is an all-female hackathon um, at USC, run completely by students. So I really like how um, USC Engineering and CS is really diverse. Um, everyone has so many different interests. Um, they come from so many different places. Um, and I just think that makes it really fun to be around them.